Hello everyone, I'm Ola and this is Coding is for Girls. If you are here and you haven't watched my video about reading CSV files in Python, you need to stop and watch the video first. Because we are using Python script we wrote last time as a base to the project we are building today. And today we will take all email generated in previous video and actually send them to the people. I'm so excited about this video and I hope you are excited too. One of the most horrible things I sometimes see is when people send the same email to tens of people and they add every single email in the recipients. This way, I know email addresses of everyone you send this email to. And this is bad because email address is a personal data and you shouldn't share it with anyone without the consent of the person. It's pretty much like giving names and phones of all your family and friends to anyone. This is so bad. One of the ways to prevent it is use BCC field in your email so you don't see email addresses of all the people who got the email. However, there is nothing better than personalized email that contains your name, your personal data, something that feels like written especially for you. This is so much better and much more personal. However, it is very hard if you have hundreds of emails to send. But worry not, because today you will see how to do that in my previous video, we learn how to load the data and generate personalized emails. Time to send them. But first, we need to talk about emails and something called SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. We already talked about how internet works and that, amongst others, it uses HTTP protocol. When you type something in your browser, it uses HTTP to communicate with other computers out there connected through the internet. But when it comes to emails, we use different standard, different protocol, SMTP. This is the format you need to use if you want to send email through the internet. So other computers, other mail servers will know, oh yeah, this packet of data is actually an email and should be treated as such. Thankfully, we don't really need to go into too much details of the protocol because Python, of course, comes with a standard model that helps us create emails. So all we need to do is import SMTP lib model and use it. Let's open the file with the script from last video and save it under new name. For example, send emails.py. Now we will take a quick look at Python documentation for SMTP lib model. Link, as always, will be in the description box below. What we need is something that connects to our email via SMTP and send emails there. So we will need this SMTP to connect and then there is a function called sendmail we will use. Using this too will connect us with the mail server we are using and then we will send all the messages we want to send to all the recipients. Now, about mail server. This is something that is running all the time, waiting for emails to come or emails to send. We could set up that and configure that locally on our computers, but that will overcomplicate this video and it will be super long. So instead of that, I'll just use email. And especially for this video, I decided to create a Gmail account Coding is for girls at gmail.com. I will send all the emails to this mail server. So what we want is our Python script to generate the content, which is already done, and push it to Gmail mail server to send this email on our behalf. So the first thing we need to give our script is the email address from which we will be sending the emails. So in our scenario, coding is for girls at gmail.com and the password to the account. Now, you should never ever share your password with anyone. Don't save it in a file and post it somewhere in the internet. Don't leave it 
somewhere lying around on the computer that other people use. This is your secret password and only you should know that. And what I'm doing right now is only because I wanted to keep this video simple and I didn't want to have it like 30 minutes for long. So please, please don't do that at home. And if you really want to try it out, just make sure to create a separate email account you don't actually use. So something that even if it's hacked, it's perfectly okay. So what I'll do now is take my credentials, the email and my password and put it into settings file. Okay, I will create a separate file on desktop that contains my newly created email and password. I will call the file settings.py. I will store email and password in constants. Sender email equals coding is for girls at gmail.com and sender password equals, and here I'm typing my secret password, but you will not see that. I am saving the file and go back to the send emails.py file. We will import these two values at the beginning of the file like this. From settings, import sender email, sender password. Now we need to connect to the Gmail SMTP server. We will do that using SMTP lib library. So we need to import it first. So at the beginning of the file, we type import SMTP lib. Now let's scroll down to the place where we are about to start processing data from the CSV file just before the for loop. We need to start the connection and we do that like this. SMTP, we will store the connection in variable SMTP, equals smtplib.smtp and as a parameter we'll give smtp.gmail.com. The argument here smtp.gmail.com is specific to the email server I'm using, so Gmail. I'm sending everything from my Gmail address, so I'm using that. But if you use different one, just try to browse what value you should use. For example, if you use Yahoo, you could browse for smtp server address Yahoo. Here it is, I found it, smtp.mail.yahoo.com. Okay, let's go back. We already know how to connect to Gmail smtp server. Now we need to log in with our email and password. If we take a look at Python documentation, we will find a method login. We need to give a username, so the email, and password. So in our file we will type smtp.login sender email sender password. Okay, so it's time to send email, right? Let's go to Python documentation once again and look for something that will help us with that. And here it is, send mail method. It expects us to give a sender email address first, then recipient address and the message. Let's try then. In the file, we will replace all the sprints with sending email. We will do that like this, smtp, so our connection to email server, dot, send mail. Now we will open parenthesis, sender email. This is the one we will be sending emails from. So in my case, coding is for girls at gmail.com then email, this is the email of the recipient, and finally our email message we generated above. Cool! Now the last thing, let's close the connection with Gmail server. Here, after the for loop, we will do smtp quit. Let's save and try if it works. And one more thing, I made sure that all email addresses in applications.csv are mine emails. Because when I test my Python script and I don't know if it works or not, I don't want to spam all the people out there. Okay, let's type python3 send emails.py. Oh no, there is an error. SMTP auth extension not supported by server. This is bad. We did something very, very stupid. We pretty much took our email address and password and sent it in plain text through the internet without encrypting that. That means that any person who is looking at packets that are sent from our computer just learn about our email and password. This is not good. To prevent it, we will use TLS, Transport Layer Security. Let's open Python documentation once again and see how to do that. There is a method called start TLS. It says all SMTP commands that follow will be encrypted. You should then call echlo again. Uh-oh. What is echlo? Let's take a look. This is something we should call to identify ourselves 
when connecting to SMTP server. Okay, so that means we need to call Echlo first, then we need to start transport layer security with start TLS, and then do Echlo again. Ah, and since I sent my password without encryption through the internet already, I also changed my password immediately. Let's save the file and try it now. Python 3 sent emails at Py. This time script finished without error, but let's check if I received any emails at all. So I'll open my Gmail account, to which I was sending all the emails, and the one I changed password to a moment ago, and here they are, all the emails we sent. If we will open the emails, we will see that every message is customized for each person from the spreadsheet. That is great. This is amazing. We just sent emails generated based on data from spreadsheet. And this way we can pretty much send tens of emails like this in one go. But there is still one thing that is not perfect yet. Not sure if you noticed that, but all the emails don't have any subject yet. Let's fix that. We'll open the send emails file and inside the if, where we generate email content, we will also decide what the subject should be. If the person is accepted, we will store in variable subject, workshop application, accepted. And for rejected people, we will have subject equals workshop application, not this time. But how to add subject to the message we are sending? Well, it is quite easy. It turns out that all you need to do is concatenate the message with subject. And you do that as follows. Subject, colon, then here we will add our subject, then empty line, and then the message we want to send. Let's do that. Email message equals subject, colon. Now so we'll have placeholder, slash n, which is new lines, dot format, subject, message. And we will replace message with email message inside send mail. Let's save and try it in console. Python 3 send emails to Pi. The script finished, so let's check if send emails have the subject this time. And yes, they do. This is amazing and I hope you are super excited and you just can't wait to use the knowledge I shared with you to create something useful. However, there are some warnings for you. Do not share your email and password. Don't save it in a file, don't share it with others, don't leave it on computer laying around. If you happen to send your email and password without using transport layer security, make sure to change password immediately. And one more thing, if you use two-factor authentication, the script we just created won't work. There are other ways how to do that. You need to generate some special key and so on, but this is topic for a separate video. And last but not least, do not spam people. We all hate useless messages and all the ads we are getting and receiving them is super, super annoying. So please, please don't do that. Remember, send emails only to people who agree to receive emails from you. Without their consent, you shouldn't do that. Okay, that's it for today. Let me know in the comments what kind of project you would like to write on create which will use sending emails. I'm really interested in all your ideas and what you want to build. And if you want to learn how to program with me, make sure to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. Have a lovely day and see you!